you're back. This is Mommy and Me, I'm Mandy. We're on week 37 of this pregnancy, and this is wrapping up how to have a fit pregnancy. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp. Woo! If you're like me, and you worked out prior to getting pregnant, and you wanted to work out your whole pregnancy, you've got to got to keep coming back to your fit pregnancy. In 37 weeks, you're almost there. If you're on my timeline, you're big, your belly hurts, your back hurts, you're tired, you're not sleeping that well, that doesn't mean you can't still, at this point, have a fit pregnancy. This time in your pregnancy, it's all, all about checking with yourself, really with whatever we're doing, but especially with your workouts and you're having this fit pregnancy. Along the way, I've said the whole time, like you should constantly check in with yourself, you should constantly adjust yourself. As you all know, I'm a runner. Last week, I went out for a run and I was like, oh no, my left, the left side of my sciatica, just that was it. I was like, oh, I think this is my last run. Kind of bummed, been a couple of days, I'm feeling a lot better. I was really having a hard time walking too, which is not cool, not cool at all. To get to this point, because I've had a lot of people be like, oh, you're still running, you're still working out. So to get to this point, it's all, all about making adjustments. And even right now, I'm making the adjustment. I mean, I would love to get back outside and run more, but I'm probably not going to until the baby comes. But I'm thinking my baby's coming soon. I just have a lot of pressure. It's just a lot in my body and I'm like ready for him to go. What did I do for adjustments throughout this pregnancy? When we started, when I started and when I got pregnant, I ran about five, almost five and a half miles every day. That was like my sweet spot. I loved it. I pushed my stroller, right? What first started happening is I got slower in my runs, which is fine. That's totally, perfectly, and completely fine. I had to adjust. I started back then feeling it in my back a little bit even then, and I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta take care of me. So I started making sure I added in the foam roller after I run because that really stretched me out, really has been helping my sciatica up until now. You adjust your speed, you adjust your distance. After the holidays, I was like, okay, I can I can no longer run my five miles because I just, it was taking me too long. So I started scaling back and I've kind of been scaling back ever since. Personally, I wanted to make sure I got about a 40 minute run in maybe a little bit more for my speed because I feel like that's a good workout. Like, you know, you get out, you get your body moving. Also, so I pushed Maddie, my little girl, up until like two weeks ago where I was like, oh, I really can't push her that much again. I kind of had to scale that back too. And I knew that was coming and I knew that. And that's okay. And really for whatever workout you do, you just have to make those adjustments. You just have to scale back and that's fine. Any workout you get in when you're pregnant is amazing because you're pregnant and you're carrying another life. It's gonna make your delivery easier, trust me. My delivery was much easier last time and I really do accredit the fact that I ran and I did yoga and I weight trained. This time I didn't do as much yoga, but I ran, I did a lot of stretching, I did a lot of um, strength training and all of that. If you're watching this in hopes of getting pregnant and you wanna make sure that you work out throughout it, start working out now. A big, big thing is if you're doing something prior to your pregnancy, there's no reason why you can't do it during your pregnancy. That is what my doctor said to me, my first pregnancy right in the beginning and agreed with the second pregnancy. I will tell you if this is your second pregnancy and you're like, okay, I wanna have a fit pregnancy. I wanna make sure that it's just all belly and like even if you see my arms that I don't look pregnant, my face, I mean, I'm 37 weeks pregnant. You have to just make sure that you did it before because you know, your body changes when you're pregnant. I've met a lot of women that have said, oh, I ran with my first um, first pregnancy, I could only make it to this with my second pregnancy, or oh, I worked out till about six months, seven months, eight months, and then that was it. But you can still do other things. So what have I done now to adapt with my screaming sciatica at me? I have an elliptical, so I've been doing elliptical, and hopefully I'll be able to get out for some walks too. I was feeling a lot better when I've been walking. Last time around I had some sciatica pain and it was really just during runs and I was able to reel that in. Didn't really get it when I was walking. This time I got a big time when I was walking that it was really, really hard for me just to walk to the park, which is right next door. I did the elliptical and I felt like it really stretched me out and I'm gonna continue to do that because I wanna get that, I just wanna get that movement in 
a big thing for me is the whole thing with atrophy and where you stop doing something and then you get really tight and you get even more sore. So that's been my whole thing with this whole pregnancy is avoiding that. Our biggest, biggest tip, and I think we stressed it in our other videos about having a fit pregnancy and even at this point of being nine months pregnant is just making those adjustments, still getting out there to do something. If you used to run and you can't run anymore, go for walks. That's going to be really good. Or if you you know, go to the gym and run on the treadmill and you're like, no, walk on the treadmill, do the elliptical. If you are into yoga, you can make so many adjustments. You don't have to go super, super intense. It's just all about making those adjustments so you can be in your nine month like I am and still be like, whoa, I worked out this whole time, which is an amazing and wonderful feat that we should all be celebrating when we get to that point. But even if you worked out to six months, seven, eight, that's amazing ladies i'm mandy subscribe to mommy and me for more of our pregnancy journey we're winding down here let us know if you have any questions about having a fit pregnancy working out when you're pregnant anything like that yeah kids yeah thanks for watching buzz chop subscribe and share subscribe and share subscribe and share, share. Woo.